Hello friends, in this video I will try to repair this LCD monitor. Let's begin. So as you can see, this is an LCD monitor. It's high quality, but it's quite old. And uh, being old, it's not worth to repair this. It's better to buy a LED monitor, which is better. But I want to save this monitor because I received for free. So I've opened this uh, cover and inside there was original three capacitors but was all swollen. And on this uh, power source PCB also the capacitors so was some capacitor swollen and I replaced all uh, that swollen capacitor but unfortunately it's not working it's the same it's it lights for two seconds two seconds and it's turn off let me show you let's put everything back So this is the plug for the on off switches and these are the six CCFL lamps. Let's put all back. I forgot to put the connector to the display. I have to take this back. Now let's turn this, let's turn on the power, now let's power, as you can see after two seconds the backlight is turning off, so let's solve it. So uh, this LCD inverter it's uh, turning off after two seconds. There are three kind of protection. Can be open lamp protection, over voltage protection and uh, over current protection. And I don't know if the problem is with this uh, inverter or with these lamps. As you can see, we have six lamps, three up and three down. In order to test this lamp, these lamps, I've saved this uh, inverter from an old laptop with a CCFL backlight. And here uh, it has uh, four wires. It's ground, plus, on, and dim pin. And as you can see, the, this orange is the ground, black is the plus, and I put one kilo resistor to the enable and dim pin. And now let's test every lamp. So I will use 12 volts from my power supply. I have a 400 milliamps power consumption. 
because I didn't uh, succeed to repair uh, LCD, I decided, and because I believe that these tubes are uh, too old and it's very complicated to replace, I've decided to replace original uh, LCD tubes with LED lead replacement this was made exactly for replacing ccfl tubes with lead this is the constant current so here we have inch and i have to cut exactly after these marks so now it's 22 inch and I have to cut to 20 inch and now I have to find a solution to glue this to this aluminium part so will lead will not overheat now I found the problem why it's not working because when I tried to replace this I've noticed this was not welded and that's why I entered in open lamp protection as you can see so this was the problem as you can see but now I will replace it anyway so I glued I put this with hot glue and now let's make a short test so uh, this is the current limiter this is the driver of the leds and this is the on off and dim pin if i touch this the leds are on but the threshold from this it's not identical with the threshold from the CCFL driver and that's why I will put this on uh, maximum. I will make some test if the brightness is working or I will put on the maximum. Now let's make a test. We'll give to the max. Now the most difficult part is to put everything back without damaging the display.
And now let's check the brightness. So the brightness it's working. It's not working perfect because at minimum you can see it's completely off. But it's working. So now I just have to put everything back. And uh, what I like about uh, this uh, replace with lead is that power consumption is much much lower it's less than one third than before and now it's uh, en more energy efficient than before if you have any questions please put it in a comment and if you made it so far please give a big like and subscribe thanks for watching bye